Hello everyone, welcome back to your channel that is a physics girl and in previous lecture we have discussed about the different thermoelectric effects. First one is a Peltier effect, second one is a Seebeck effect and now in this lecture we have to discuss about the Thomson effect. So third type of the thermoelectric effect is nothing but your Thomson effect. Now who discovered the Thomson effect? So the British physicist William Thomson discovered the Thomson effect first time. That means the scientist name is a William Thomson due to this reason. This effect is known as a Thomson effect and he discovered this effect in 1851. So that is why this effect is known as a Thomson effect. Now what is a Thomson effect actually? So the statement of the Thomson effect is given by the process of evolution of absorption or absorption of heat during the current passes through the whole length of wire whose one end kept at hot and other another one is cold is known as the Thomson effect. So this is the statement that is the scientific statement of the Thomson effect. Now, now interpret the statement of the Thomson effect. So, so first of all is that the process that means it is actually thermodynamic process. There is an evolution or absorption of heat, but where where the but where at the one end of the conductor. So first of all we have to take an into account conductor. So first of all consider this conductor that is a copper wire. You know that copper is a metal and the copper wire is also a good conductor of heat and electricity. So here we are taking copper wire and whose one end is heated with the help of heating instrument or heating tool that means with the help of burner and this end that is why this end is a hot and this end is a cold. Now apply a current that means connect this copper wire to the external battery that means this is a battery having a positive terminal this positive terminal and this is a negative terminal. So flow the current through that particular conducting wire or copper. So, so we know that here is a negative terminal, here is a positive terminal. We know that the electrons are flowing from higher potential to the lower potential. So the flow of electron is like this. And we know that the uh, current direction is exactly opposite to the flow of electron. So this is the flow of electron direction. So that is why the exactly opposite direction is like this. This is a flow of current through this conducting wire that is a copper wire. And if we will, if we do like this, then there is an evolution of heat from the copper. So this is the evolution of the heat from the copper. So this is the evolution of heat during the current passes through the whole length of the conductor or carrying, uh, current carrying conductor. So this is a whole wire that is a copper wire and through this wire there is an evolution of heat. But when, when there is a flowing of the current through that wire and the whole length to the whole length of that particular wire so this is the evolution now the second case what is the absorption so in second case again consider same copper wire which is kept at one end that is hot and other is cold so there is a temperature difference between the two end and the current is flowing through that particular wire is like this now we have changed the polarity here that is we have changed the polarity of battery here we have connected positive terminal here we have connected negative terminal again we know that the electrons are flowing from higher potential to the lower potential that means in this direction so the direction of current is exactly opposite to the uh, flow of electron so this is the direction of flow of electron so the direction of flow of current is like this so this is a direction of flow of current through this conducting wire. Now in this case if we change the polarity then the heat is absorbed by the current carrying conducting wire that is a copper wire. So there is a two possibility that is first one is evaluation and second one is absorption. This phenomena happens only when, when we are passing a current through the conducting wire and the two ends of this conducting wire kept at a temperature difference. That means one end is hot and other is cold and the current carrying conductor throughout its length it's, it will evolve or absorb the heat. So this is the statement of the Thomson effect or this is the actually Thomson effect. Now there are two types of the Thomson effect. First one is a 
positive Thomson effect and second one is the negative Thomson effect. These are the two different types of the Thomson effect. It will depend on the heat transfer mode. That means the direction of heat along the direction of flow of current and direction of heat opposite to the flow of current. According to that, there are two types of the Thomson effect. First one is a positive and second one is a negative. So let's discuss one by one in detail. So first one is a positive Thomson effect. So consider a copper bar or copper bar metal. So this is the along AB. So this bar is an AB bar and its center is a C. So we kept some burner at its center and we have to heat up it. So that means we are providing heat here. That means the C point gets easily heat and we are flowing the direction of current or we are flowing the current through this bar along this direction. That means along this, along its length. Then there is a absorption of heat along AC part. That means along this part there is absorption and along CB part there is a release of heat. So and in this case the heat is transferred along the direction of flow of current. So that is why this type of Thomson effect is known as a positive Thomson effect. And the example is that itself is a copper and another example are zinc, silver. These are the different examples which are showing the positive Thomson effect. Now second one is a negative Thomson effect. Now consider the again different type of material instead of copper there is a iron material. So consider the iron bar that is AB and its again central part that is at point C. We are providing heat with the help of some kind of burner. So and the direction of flow of current is along the again along the length of this iron bar. So if we are doing this then there is a abs absorption of heat along CB and Re evolution or release of heat along AC. That means exactly opposite happens here as that of this case that is that is in the positive Thomson effect. So that means along the AC direction there is an evolution or release of heat and along CB path there is an absorption of heat. So in this case the heat is transferred exactly opposite to the flow of current. That means in this case in positive Flow of direction of current is like this and transfer of heat is along also like this. So this is a along the same direction that means positive Thomson effect and in this case the flow of direction of current is like this and the flow of heat transfer is exactly opposite to the flow of current. So that is why this Thomson effect is known as a negative Thomson effect. And there are again different examples for the negative Thomson effect. So first case we have just considered that is an iron bar or simply iron. Another examples are nickel, cobalt, mercury. These are the different elements also showing the negative Thomson effect. So in this way we have discussed who invented the Thomson effect, statement of the Thomson effect and detailed demonstration of the Thomson effect and also that also we have seen the two different types of the Thomson effect. First one is a positive, second one is a negative. So in this we have, in this way we have covered the Thomson effect. Thank you. If you are like my lecture or video, then you subscribe my YouTube channel 